Hey guys, Shinny here, and today we're going to quickly go over using Barbara, the Shining Idol, as a healer in your party. First off, Barbara is considered a free-to-play character because she's available from the free event Baptism of Song at all times. Starting from the 1.1 update going forward, this event should be available indefinitely. She's also available in Paimon's Bargains for uh, Master of Star Glitter. She's in the Wish System. And if you were playing before the 1.1 update, you could get her for free if you reached Adventure Rank 20. So depending on how long you've been playing, you could have actually gotten a couple of copies for free. All right, so Barbara is a Hydro Element user, and almost all of her stats, other than her normal attack, will scale based off of her health. So both Barbara's Elemental Skill and her Elemental Burst are going to scale drastically based on how much health she has. The more health you can give her, the better all of her heals are going to be for your entire team. Her elemental skill at the show begin, it lets you heal your active character. If you like, you can activate it, it puts a, a wall of music, of water music around you. If you switch to a different character that needs healing, they will heal gradually over time based on this ability. However, it has another use, because if you leave Barbara as your active character when you use her elemental skill, not only does it apply Hydro to you and the surrounding enemies, but anyone you attack with your normal attacks is gonna cause you to heal everyone on your team at the same time. If you used your charged attack, it's gonna take some stamina, obviously, but it's also gonna heal for four times the amount that the normal attacks are healing for, and it does an AoE burst to several nearby enemies. Barbara's elemental burst also heals your entire party based on Barbara's max HP. So again, the more HP you can give her, the more this ability is gonna heal for. So basically you wanna build Barbara with as much HP as possible. If you can, get HP as one of the main stats on your weapon, preferably HP percent, and on as many artifacts as possible, try to get HP as a stat. Plus, a very highly recommended artifact set is the Maiden's Beloved artifact set. The two-piece set increases your character healing effectiveness by 15%, and the four-piece set, uh, using an elemental skill or burst, increases healing received by all party members by 20% for 10 seconds. So both the two-piece and four-piece set for the Maiden Beloved set is very, very good for Barbara. This is gonna increase her healing drastically. And if possible, you wanna get HP percent as your main stat on as many artifacts as you can. Obviously, you can only get flat HP on your flower and flat attack on your plume, but you can potentially get HP percent as your substats on both of those as well. A fantastic weapon choice for Barbara is the Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers, which is available both in the world as drops or out of chests and through the wish system and it's only a three star the reason this is such a great weapon for her is because hp percent is one of the main stats on this weapon and the higher rank you get this weapon the higher hp percent you're going to get as a buff from it also the passive stat for this weapon is fantastic for barbara because switching to her to heal and then switching back to your main DPS is gonna give them a massive increase in their attack percent. At refinement rank five, you're gonna get an additional 48% attack for 10 seconds for your main DPS when you switch back to them after switching to Barbara. This effect can only occur once every 20 seconds, but most of Barbara's abilities have a longer cooldown than that anyways. So switching to Barbara, healing, and then switching back to your main DPS is gonna give them a big boost for a, a good amount of time and then the next time you switch back to Barbara to heal again, you'll most likely be off of cooldown, and then you can continue to switch back to your main DPS and get that extra attack bonus as well. Barbara also has some really good constellations. Her first constellation allows you to regenerate one energy every 10 seconds. Her second decreases the cooldown of her elemental skill by 15%, and your active character gains a 15% hydro damage bonus. The third increases the level of your elemental burst shining miracle by three. Your fourth, every enemy Barbara hits with her charge attack regenerates one energy for her. A maximum of five energy can be regenerated in this manner with any one charged attack. Basically your elemental, I'm sorry. Basically every one of your charge attacks has the option. Every time you use your charge attack, it is an AOE hydro burst attack and it will hit several enemies at once. 
So you can get up to five energy by hitting five or more enemies with this attack at once to recharge your elemental burst even faster with her fourth constellation. Her fifth constellation increases the level of her elemental skill. Let the show begin by three. And finally, her sixth constellation, which I think is absolutely amazing. When Barbara is in the party, but not on the field and one of your own party members falls, automatically revives the fallen character fully restores the revived character's HP to 100%, but this effect can only occur once every 15 minutes. This is a free full heal revive for your main DPS or any of your other characters that happen to fall in battle while Barbara is not your active character. Granted, this will take six copies of Barbara in order to get to this point, but if you happen to be getting lots of Barbaras out of summons and you do happen to get that six constellation for her, this is a huge, huge ability for a main healer on your team. Barbara can be a fantastic, fantastic healer. Now let's talk about the downsides real quick. Barbara's, all of Barbara's abilities, all of Barbara's healing causes you to get wet. It's the hydrostatus effect. It sounds funny to say it like that, but basically your character will be wet. They will be soaked in water and any enemy attack that happens to interact with Hydro will interact with you. And the most common and most annoying one is Cryo. You will get frozen a lot using Barbara's healing. And that can be okay, but that's something you need to watch out for. Fighting Cryo enemies while using Barbara's healing can be very problematic. So you just gotta be careful, watch out for that. But other than that, she can be a fantastic healer and obviously can take quite a few hits if you're building her with as much HP as you can. She's gonna have a pretty high health pool so she can take a few hits before she goes down. She's not gonna do much damage, but that's okay because you're probably gonna be using her for healing, especially if you're watching this guide. But anyways, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I stream over on Twitch, stream a lot of Genshin over there uh, a few days a week. So check out the link in the description, twitch.tv slash channel. And I'll see you guys there. Shinny out.